what do moms really want for Mother's Day? I had thousands of moms from all over the world reply to that question. Can you guess what the most popular answer was? Interestingly, the answers were really similar. Lots of us moms need a break. What we would give for a holiday or just a weekend away or just a day off. Yes, moms love a homemade card and a heartfelt poem. A lot of us moms would love a spa day, a massage with a manicure and a pedicure, or simply just to have your hair done. I mean, look at the state of this. But what moms wanted most of all simply is a good sleep. A good sleep with a lie in and breakfast brought to them in bed and someone else to do all the housework. With this in mind, in this video, I'm going to show you five really easy breakfast in bed recipes. Oh, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start with this simple bagel, perfect for breakfast or for brunch. Okay, here we go. Can you guess what this is? It's a bagel. Well, actually it's half a bagel. We're going to start by spreading some full fat cream cheese before we add some luxury smoked salmon. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some fresh chopped chives before adding some avocado. The ingredients for all these recipes are in the description down below. Now scoop out the avocado out the shell and then slice it up as fast as that. Add it on top of your smoked salmon like a fan all the way around before squeezing on some nice fresh lemon and adding a grind of black pepper. Now take the other half of the bagel and spread on some more of that delicious cream cheese. Now pop it on top and there you go. As simple as that, Bob's your uncle, delicious smoked salmon avocado and cream cheese bagel. Who wouldn't want to eat that in bed? Our second breakfast is a healthy breakfast sundae and if you haven't got a glass like this don't worry just use a normal bowl. We're going to start off by chopping up our fruit so take off the end of your kiwi that's if you like kiwi and then cut off the skin all the way around and any little bits that are left over chop off the other end and then slice it up. You can use all sorts of fruit for this. We're also going to use some strawberries, nice juicy strawberries. You can use apples, bananas, mango. So in goes the yogurt, a couple of spoonfuls of that and then squirt on some nice runny honey. We're now going to add some crunchy granola and some blueberries, always a favourite of mine really good for you. Then a layer of your chopped strawberries and some more of that delicious yogurt. Now we're going to add some more honey and some more of that delicious crunchy granola. That's time for a little bit more fruit because we haven't quite got enough fruit on there. So layer on your kiwi, a few more slices of strawberry and finally some more blueberries. Look at that. Which mum wouldn't want to eat that in bed? My third recipe, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, Swedish fika. This is a buttery, cinnamony recipe and it's delicious hot or cold. So first get your butter, it needs to be at room temperature, nice and soft, and add your cinnamon and then add the caster sugar. And now you need to mix all of that together. Hence why the butter needs to be at room temperature, otherwise it's too hard to mix. This can take a bit of mixing. Once it's all mixed together, get your tortilla wrap. You need two of them, one each, and start spreading all the mixture all the way over. And now you're going to roll up the wrap into a sausage shape. Cut these in half, so all in all, you should have four pieces. And now you're going to fry them. Add some oil to your frying pan and a couple of knobs of butter because there just isn't enough butter in this recipe. Melt that down until the butter starts to bubble. 
then put the wraps fold side down and you're going to fry these for about three minutes on each side. Make sure your heat's at a medium level, otherwise they'll start to burn. After three minutes, just gently turn them over and cook them for a further three minutes, basting them in all that lovely buttery juice. And that's it, an absolute doddle. Serve them with a coffee and some serviettes to catch all the buttery drips. My fourth recipe is so delicious and looks impressive, but it's so simple. Cut out two squares from some shop-bought puff pastry. Mark out a smaller square about an inch in. Be careful not to cut right through to the pastry. And now you're going to get your cream cheese. Add some icing sugar and give that a nice stir. Now add some vanilla extract and mix that together as well. Now you're going to put this filling inside the smaller square of the puff pastry. Add some strawberry jam and then some sliced fresh strawberries and some blueberries. You can use other fruits but be careful they're not too watery otherwise they make the pastries go all soggy. Now brush some milk all the way around the outside and pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. And there you go. Delicious any time of the day. Our fifth and final breakfast in bed recipe is a bacon and brie sandwich. Start by slicing your bread. We probably don't need a full loaf, but let's go with it. And then we're going to grill our bacon. It's much healthier than frying it. Make sure you turn your bacon over halfway through so that all that fat drips off. But you want the fat on the rind to be nice and crispy. Now we're going to slice our brie cheese. And then we're going to spread some lovely sweet cranberry sauce. Having the sweet and the salty combination is just my favorite. Pop on your bacon and then add your cheese. And now it's time to put that back under the grill and just look at that cheese melting. Oh, that's delicious. When it's ready, pop the sandwich together and cut it in half. Look at that, absolutely delicious. Serve it with your favorite pot of tea. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And you can watch some more videos right here, right now.